What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Black and White. We're here in Route 15 where, uh, once again, I have no idea what we're doing, actually, but, uh, I am now sure that, uh, we have beaten this route before. Uh, but apparently there's still some trainers that we haven't fought, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. And, uh, after that, I have no idea what we'll be doing because, again, I didn't check up on whatever it is I have done and what I have not done. Uh, however, I have not prepared myself correctly, so in the... What am I trying to say here? Uh, the black and white... The black city and white forest thing uh, will actually be next episode because I haven't caught up in my other save file. I am basically still haven't even beaten the Elite Four, I'm pretty sure. Um, I know I definitely beat the last gym, but I don't even know. I don't even know if that team is capable of beating the last gym just because that last gym... Not the last gym, the, uh, the Elite Four... Um, are pretty difficult, um, so I don't know if the, wow, I am, what am I doing here? I'm just, like, struggling to beat a frickin' Altaria, I don't, I don't even know. You know what, Charlie, just die. Just die and let me switch out to another teammate that can actually do something. Like, uh, Vinny here, Vinny's a nice guy, I'm sure he can high jump kick the Altaria, kick its butt. Um, anyway, yeah, what, what, what was I saying? Uh, I have no idea what it is I have done in this game and what I have not done. <coughs> But I know that I have now covered most of the routes in the uh, post game. That is that is what I've been doing for the past few episodes. Oh god, this Altaria is like raping me. What is going on? I haven't even been paying attention to the battle. I think I just let it set up like 20 dragon dances or something. Either that or it just has like incredible defenses. I don't even know. Let's just go for a shadow punch. Why not? Maybe I'll actually be able to take this thing out. Because look at that. I mean, Iron Giant can take a few hits, but look at that. It has so much defense. I don't even... I haven't been paying attention at all, guys, so I, I don't know what just happened, but apparently this Altaria is uh, being pretty difficult to take out. Might even kill me with Dragon Pulse here. Let's see if it does. Oh, yes, it does. All right. Um, I apologize if I am eating. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm eating some uh, chocolate because I'm fat. And uh, let's go for a bug bite. Why not? Um. Oh, God, another Dragon Dance. Okay. This Altaria is probably going to kill me. And I have no problem with that just because I was stupid and I let it set up all these dragon dances and stuff. I don't even know. Let's see if Slash takes it out, actually. No, it does not. L look at that. Why would you use so many dragon dances, Altaria? Your your attack is probably a plus, plus six, and so is your speed. Look at that. Because you're an idiot and you use so many dragon dances, I'm now going to kill you. There you go, Altaria. You're an idiot. Just die. And, uh, of course, our second Pokemon is Abomasnow. I think I actually did fight this lady once, but, uh... I died against her or something, so... Now I can actually win because I've got Nova with Flamethrower. That's probably a one-hit KO. Yes, it is. Alright, so there we go. We beat Shelly and her awesome Altaria of Death. I don't know. Either way, we got a Citrus Berry out of that. And, uh... uh that's about it. Let's see. Boom, boom. And I don't know if we fought this girl. I'm pretty sure we have, though. Uh, we can go up here, though, and get an item that apparently I've already gotten. Never mind. It's a Max Revive right there, tucked away in the corner. That's awesome. And uh, I think I do have a repel up. I'm not even sure, but let's see. Yes, we... Oh, no, we have not fought this girl. Okay. Um, I only have Nova and uh, Poncho left, so I think I might just die in this battle. I'm not certain. You know, I don't believe in myself sometimes, but maybe I should believe in myself a little more. Because I am an expert Pokemon trainer. And uh, because I am that expert Pokemon trainer... I can do whatever I want. Take out that hit on top like a champ. It's got its quick guard. I don't care. I'm going to flamethrower that dude and uh, kill him. Anyway, um, I kind of wanted to talk about something else. Uh, you know, it's kind of an update on my channel, you know, but uh, I don't really, I don't even know. It's just going to be me talking about whatever I want. And uh, what I do want to talk about today is, uh, you know, my channel, like my new background and icon and stuff. If you guys don't know, uh, Poncho the Chinchilla... Even though I did make him up for the prank call, I actually did end up getting a chinchilla, uh, like a year after the original prank call. And, uh, he actually died yesterday, because I am a terrible person and I don't feed it. Uh, you know, call animal abuse on me, I'm, I'm stupid and I don't feed animals, so. Punch of the chinchilla died yesterday, however, the reason you might think, like, why don't you feel terrible for that? It's because I basically didn't care about it. Um, it was a stupid chinchilla, it just pooped all over my room. And it was just really annoying, so... I don't know. I'm not saying I ate it or anything. That's, you know, that's inappropriate. Uh, but, you know, it, it passed away, so rip to Poncho, and, uh... Thus we have moved on. That is why my icon changed, because I really don't want to be reminded of that stupid rat. Uh, so I, I changed my icon. It is now Panda, because pandas are boss, and I love pandas. And, uh... 
You know, who doesn't love pandas? I think everyone out there in the world loves pandas. Uh, but Poncho the Chinchilla will still remain here as a Chilarmi or Chinchino here in the uh, Pokemon Black and White game universe thing. Uh, so we'll we'll have that memory there forever, um, even though he is now gone from my YouTube icon. Uh, however, I'm really just not a huge fan of my current icon. If you guys out there are good at, like, art or something, uh, I am actually not terrible at doing art myself. I'm just too lazy. Uh, so if you guys out there, you know, if you think you're capable of making, like, a good orange kind of icon, like a, you know, something that basically represents Munching Orange. It could be anything. It could be anything from, like, a Pokemon sprite to, like, you know, something that you draw by hand or something that you draw on, like, Photoshop. I would prefer it was if it was something, you know, on Photoshop, because, uh, digital art is pretty awesome, but, uh, I don't know. Like, something hand-drawn, I could use that and actually, like, draw it on Photoshop myself. I don't know. Whatever you guys might come up with, um, if any of you actually think you're good, good and think you can make, like, a good icon to represent the Munching Orange channel, uh, go ahead and, you know, PM me if you, uh, want to do that. I mean, <coughs> or if you want to leave, like, a video response with, like, a link in the description, uh, I guess it's kind of a contest, but not really. It's just me asking you guys for a favor. Uh, you know, let's have a triple battle. Why not? Oh, I don't have three Pokemon alive. That's why not. Uh, but either way, yeah, if you guys want to do that, it's not really a contest. Uh, I'm just saying this because there's no prize. And, uh, yeah, but if you guys want to try it out, make me an, uh, a nice icon. Um, I'll pick, like, the one that I like the most. And, uh, you know, the rest of you, I guess it'll be a way to know that I didn't like your pick. But that's, uh, that's, that's something that always happens in life. You get, don't get picked for things. You uh, are just kind of sad, and you can't really do a lot about it. So, either way, look at that unbelievable magic card, five hundred dollars. I would have bought it, but I don't have space in my party. Sorry. Uh, someone actually mentioned that I didn't buy it for some reason, and that is, of course, a reference to the one guy that sells magic cards in uh, heart gold, soul silver, and the original is gold, silver, crystal. So anyway, what you got a drink for free? That's pretty cool. Either way, let's head out here. I don't even know what's left in this game, honestly, so... Over here... Oh, apparently we've got a very low-level trainer that we have not fought yet. So that's cool. You ride bicycles in the wind and other things. And this guy probably has, like, level 17 Pokemon. Look at that prediction. Level 22. I was, like, five levels off. Either way, let's take this guy out, just because apparently I never fought him. Um, I actually didn't have a lot planned for this episode either way, so I guess I'll just be doing whatever I want. Next episode, I promise, I don't know if it'll be exactly tomorrow, because I will need some time, and I've, uh, I'm pretty busy uh, this week, actually, because uh, if you guys don't know, school starts up next Monday here in Puerto Rico. However, we did end off school, like, I don't even know when. It was a very long time ago when we ended off school back in Puerto Rico, so... Again, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting all my school supplies because I always do everything at the last minute. Uh, so I've been pretty, I'm going to be pretty busy with that. Either way, we're here in uh, Mufasa City or something like that, and I'm going to heal up real quick. Be right back. And we're back, except we're actually in a different town. This is uh, something or other with an L town. Let me actually check. Undela Town, not Lacunosa. Lacunosa is that other town we were in the last episode. Either way. We're in Undela Town, we're gonna use our Charlie, we're gonna surf it up. I actually did catch, uh, myself a, you know, a, a, what, what do you call it? A, uh, a temporary team member, uh, because I'm gonna actually be exploring these dive ruins over here. Uh, yes, I will make a separate video. Actually, it'll be like a mini episode. I don't even know what I'll, I'll think of something. Uh, but I'll make like a mini episode in which I will basically explore the entire ruins. Uh, but these are the Abyssal Ruins. I'll show you how to exactly get through them. I'm sure you can actually find those on YouTube already by some other pretty cool people. But, you know, I feel kind of obligated to do so myself. Uh, either way, I, I'll, I'll do it eventually. Uh, but these ruins here, I'm just going to explain them. Or not explain them, but just explore them. Oh, God, my nose is nasally. Now I feel stupid. Um, not stupid, but I feel weird now. Either way, uh, these ruins here, you will actually eventually get, like, expelled out of it. It's pretty weird, but, uh... Yeah, you can collect all these uh, little relics around here and artifacts and stuff, and you can actually sell those to a guy back at a mansion, which I'll show. Uh, once we're done exploring this first floor, there are four floors to the thing. You can also find the plates for Arceus here, or Arceus, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea what these say. They're like the unknown text, but uh, I know how to get through the ruins, so I will do that for you guys in like a mini episode or something. I'll, I'll think of a something. I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, basically I'm going through and collecting all these items before I actually show you like how to get through the ruins the quickest way possible. Um, I would recommend that you guys just get all the items first and then do like one last full run through uh, so you can get like to the end of it because, you know, your air does run out eventually. 
or not your air. You, I don't know why, for some reason, you don't run out of air, uh, but eventually you do get expelled out of the ruins for some stupid reason that made up. Um, that's not like, you know, losing your air or your breath or whatever. Um, as you can see, the dull sound keeps echoing that eventually there's like a torrent or like a... I don't know, there's like a rush of water that just pushes you out of the ruins. Uh, but I'm trying to find as many items as I can, and um, as you can see, not succeeding or not doing very well. Uh, but I am getting some nice copper and gold, which you can actually sell for quite a lot of money. So, this game, again, it's really easy. This is like a really easy way to get uh, tons of money in this game. So, I really recommend, you know, if you guys are in need of some money for like a lethal round 2 or something, if you haven't done this, definitely do this. Uh, go through each floor slowly, first off, get all, like, as much items as you can, as many items as you can, um, and then, you know, once you've gotten, uh, all the items, you actually can go through and get to the last room. Uh, either way, there's a torrent of water that's gonna push us out of here, it's kinda weird, but, either way, uh, I will go down here one more time, just because I wanna get a few more items, and then, I'll go ahead and show you guys, uh, what it is that we can do with these items that we keep getting. It's basically like one of the other collectors, like I showed you guys that it, there was a, like a fat collector lady that had like crumpets and she collects like uh, cooking ingredients, so um, this guy collects like artifacts and ancient stuff, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty cool, but you basically make a lot of money from it, that's the only thing that I really care about, is making that money in the, that, that Pokemon money, you know, because uh, it's smart, hater, you know what you know about that epic meal time. What is going on? Oh, psh. <laughs> I was about to pick up the item, and I'm like, why did it just stop? And it was because of uh, the cutscene there, the the Torrance cutscene. Um, you do actually find, like, a rock, and when you talk to it, you, uh, you rise up to the second floor. I don't remember exactly where that rock is. I know it's somewhere around these ruins, obviously, but uh, here we go, a nice relic statue. Um, I'm going to go through this one more time, try to get as many items as I can, and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll find the rock that you need to talk to to get to the second floor. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, basically what I'm going to talk about to you guys today. Um, you know, if you, any of you want to make a icon for me, go ahead and make it, leave it as a video response, or PM me, uh, if you have, like, a deviant art or something. It, it has to be related to the name Munching Orange, I really, like, that really expands quite far away, like, it can be literally an orange with, like, a mouth or something, or it can be, like, me, if you guys know what I look like from those vlogs, uh, like, eating an orange or something. It's, it can be whatever you want, it really does go pretty far, like, you know, what you can do with that, uh, but just make it, you know, when you see that, make sure it says, like, you know, that's Munching Orange right there, that's, uh, that's what he is, you know, it can be related to Pokemon, I really don't care, as long as I like it, uh, you know, if, if it's cool, I'll pick it, so, uh, go ahead and do those, I, I don't have a deadline or anything, again, it's not really a contest or a competition, uh, so no deadline, I mean, I'll just pick one whenever it looks cool, I think that's it, uh, no, never mind. I do get a chance to pick off this last item here, and hopefully we can get that last one. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get to it. Please get to it. Please get to it. Yes! There we go. I thought it was going to be like that one time in uh, Heart Gold where I, or like in Fire Red or Leaf Green or whatever game I played, uh, where I was doing the Safari Zone, and I got like one step right in front of this Strength TM guy or HM, and then he kicked me out of the Safari Zone. That was pretty annoying. Uh, but anyway... Um, I never really introduced my new, uh, temporary team member, but that is, uh, Ewan, the, uh, Spiel. He's very fat and round, and he knows dive, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, next time, um, or off-screen, I'll be getting all the items in the Relic Castle, or in the Abyssal Ruins. Sorry, I keep confusing everything today. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to show you where you guys can sell all this stuff. Um, if you head into this mansion here, it's kind of like a, it's like a villa, I guess you could say. It's pretty cool. Um, you go over and talk to this guy back here. He will actually want to buy all this stuff, so if you have rare items, you can go ahead and show them to him, and, uh, yes, I do have three relic hoppers, look at that. Oh, uh, the only problem is you have to sell them one at a time, so it's pretty annoying, so, uh, I will be doing that off-screen, and, uh, by next episode, you'll see I'll be, like, a freaking billionaire like Augie David, so, yeah, I guess, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and, uh, yeah, I have, like, take note, I have 659,000 now, uh, by next episode, I guarantee I'll have, like, over a million, so... See you guys tomorrow, where we will hopefully either do Black and White City or the uh, Ruins, depending on how much time I have. Uh, see you guys later.